Hey everybody, so we're going to take a quick look at some problem solving here, and we're going to start with a Raoult's Law problem. So, I'm actually doing problem 47 from chapter 11 in the textbook. Uh, so we have a solution is prepared by mixing 50 grams of glucose with 600 grams uh, of water. That should say of water, not if water. What is the vapor pressure of the solution at 25 degrees Celsius? Well, the first thing we're going to need to know is what glucose is. Perhaps you uh, know this from bio class, but glucose is C6H12, that's a 12, O6, and it has a molar mass of about 180 grams per mole. Okay. All right, so we're using Raoult's law here, so the vapor pressure of the solution is going to be equal to the mole fraction of the solvent times the pure vapor pressure of the solvent. Okay, and we know this is water, and we can look this up. The pure vapor pressure of water at 25 degrees Celsius, the P0 of water at 25 degrees is 23.8 torr. Okay, so just under 24 millimeters of mercury. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is figure out mole fraction, and in order to do that we need our moles. So for glucose, I've got 50 grams of glucose, and glucose has a molar mass of 180, so divide that by 180 grams per mole, and if I calculate that out, I get 0 0.278 moles of glucose. I'll just abbreviate it with a G. For water, I have 600 grams of water. Water has a molar mass of about 18.02 grams per mole, and that's going to give me 33.3 moles of H2O. Alright, so then my solution vapor pressure will be equal to, as you can see up here, right, it's going to be equal to the mole fraction of the solvent. So that will then be equal to 33.3 .3 divided by 33.3 .3 plus 0 0.278. So you can see that's going to be um, a fairly large um, mole fraction. And then all of that needs to be multiplied by the vapor pressure of pure water, which is 23.8 torr. All right, so if we go ahead and we crunch some numbers here, I see that my mole fraction of my water is 0 0.992. Multiply that by the 23.8 and I get 23.6 torr, 23.6 millimeters of mercury. So, the vapor pressure didn't go down by an awful lot. I added a good 50 grams of glucose into 600 grams of water, and the vapor pressure was barely affected, but it was affected in a way that I could calculate. went from 23.8 down to 23.6. All right, that's our first practice problem.